Richie was absolutely awesome to play with. Um, you know, we made pro, a Pro Bowl together, had a ton of fun out in Hawaii with him, and we've gotten really close over the years. Mm-hmm. You know, he's he's truly one of my best friends now. Um, but so we were talking about stories and whatnot earlier. Um, so we used to take our O-line trips after the season. So do you all do the fine system in your room? Yeah. Okay, so we do the fine system. Is this the locker room story? Yeah. Well, this this, this is going to be a, like, this is a Richie okay, O-line okay. story. All right. Mm. What year is this? This is 2016. This is or this is January of 2017, because I, I have a walking boot on, mm. which contributes to the story, because I just broke my leg. Um, so we used to always go to Vegas with half the fine money. The other half, we'd like take kids Christmas shop, and then we'd justify taking this, like, Vegas trip and we just go out there and spend a bunch of money and but like after the season like you're so stressed out all year then you go to Vegas and like your heart's racing the whole time they're like gouging you every time you walk in anywhere with 10 fat dudes it's yeah. like all right screw this I was like let's go to Key West one time like hear me out let's go down to Key West like you can leave the room in flip-flops t-shirt and shorts in the morning eat anywhere you want like it's just chill like let's go down there chill out so we go down there after a couple pretty big days of drinking we wake up the third day we go to grab brunch and we're like, man, nothing sounds good. Ask the waitress, like, give us something that's not tequila, bourbon, beer, this, that. And she's like, how about a dark and storm, like a rum and whatever? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, let's do it. So then the waitress is like, after we had a few, she's like, you know who drinks rum before noon? I'm like, who? Like, pirates. I was like, that's yeah. pretty good. So then we became pirates. So on, on the island. <laughs> <laughs> so then we became pirates. So on the island, they have an authentic, costume store that like specializes in pirate outfits so we go spend five of us four of us go spend twenty five hundred dollars on pirate outfits each uh total okay um and i'm in a boot so obviously i'm like captain hook with the peg leg and the hat and yeah. coat and like ruffled shirt and richie's got this whole big deal and so we're walking around as pirates we're walking into bars and richie would just rake tables of drinks off and we Literally, I would literally have to like, and people would be like, oh my God, that's Richie Incognito. I'm like, I know we're gonna make it right. I'm gonna buy you two rounds of drinks after this. Yeah, we're all good. Clean, he just fucking, yeah. oh, he's a, he's a wild animal when he drinks, dude. It's, but it's, a, it's fun times. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's I mean, not, like, he's malicious. He's just, yeah, I'm and bull he, in a china shop. Yes. I mean, he's just so big. But, anyways, yeah. so like our favorite times are like, when are we gonna go back and be pirates again? And yeah. I mean, we would do those O line trips. Like, do y'all do an O line trip every year? Yeah, we went to Vegas this year. Yeah, I'm always big on getting the boys to Cabo, and everyone's all about it in August, in September. Then October hits, and I'm like, you know, Vegas is closer. We could do that. Oh, we all want to gamble, and then all of a sudden, Vegas happens. Yeah, well, Cabo's maybe one of my favorite places on earth. Yeah, it's we an unbelievable seven, spot. Me and my wife went seven straight off seasons. Really? Yeah, it's one of my favorite places yeah. in the world. Yeah, I know you talk about it all the time. We the I one time I was Cabo. going, where you all stay down there? Hit. El Pedregal. Gotcha. It's like the, uh, yeah, you know, okay, my, my, my man's local. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We did that one year, and then... Um, that place is great because you're five minutes from downtown. Yeah. Squid Row, the whole thing. My favorite spot is the Hacienda Beach Club because you can get those private residents there. Mm. But, like, if the wives want to lay out and chill, you can walk right from your place down to the beach, and you're, like, 40 steps from, like, Mango Deck and all that. My fast, my favorite bar there. Yep, and then you got the office right there like that. Mm-hmm. You can just walk to it all. But then you get inside your like little gates and you're at a five star spot. You know the owner of Mango. You know how they do like the shows every day. Like there's a wet T-shirt contest one day, yeah. and the next day is like a push up contest. Anytime they do the push up contest, there's always like the 65 year old dude who's like in a baggy T-shirt and kind of just sitting there having a drink. And they get all these Billy really badass tough guys on spring break to kind of go up there and do their do the test. Mm-hmm. Well, the guy apparently he's the owner, and he's fucking rocked up. And they'll like start egging on the older guy to come and do the push-up contest. And he's like, all right, fine. Takes his shirt off and you're like, Jesus Christ. He walks up and just muscles out like a hundred of those things. No problem. Dude, big buff guys are dropping out at like 35. Just and he's a buff old guy. I think that might be him. That's him. That might be him. Look, that's the cut in the, that's the, cut in the hole yeah. right behind it. That's and it hysterical. sits right there. You know, like that little famous little look of Cabo where they have those like rocks as you're kind of going out and they have that little Will cove. Will has no idea. Yeah, yeah well, there's no a clue. cove. There's no a cove I've never and been like, to Cabo. There's beautiful like big rocks that kind of stick out of the water as you're like driving your boat to go with marlin fishing or fishing or whatever. And right there, right next to the harbor is Mango Deck. And it's fucking unreal. Let me give you one more like O-line deal. Um, and, and maybe some of the listeners can apply this one. So we would host all holidays at our house up in Buffalo. So we created this deal for Thanksgiving. And this is like, when you talk about catching crap for the podcast, 
this is the thing that I would catch the most crap on for social media every every year. If like we played bad on Sunday, like I would catch a ton of heat for this. So we created this rule that when you anyone could come to the house, everyone could do it, but you have to weigh in and weigh out. And then we have this like overall champion who put on the most weight throughout the day. Well, then we got like real competitive with it and you put some money on the line and all that. Yeah. Where like, I wouldn't even drink water at practice that day. And I get in the sauna. So then you weigh in like super light when Not you get home. Out. Well, then you're like rehydrate. Well, there's seven pounds right there, eight yeah. pounds right there. And then, you know, you eat and whatever. So then we started like posting the rankings online. USA Today ran with it. And so these weight gain uh, competitions on Thanksgiving became pr a pretty big deal in the Wood household. Like, and then you start winning some pretty decent cash. It's like, okay. How much cash? Like a grand or something, you know, like nothing crazy, but like, to a young dude, enough to put effort in. To a young dude on practice squad, like, oh, he's yeah, going like, up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No doubt. Richie sat in front of the, uh, in front of the fridge one year and just was chugging weight till he or chugging water till he gained enough weight to win it. And we, so then we had to put like some gentleman rules about it. Like, dude, you can't just like sit in front of there and drink water at the end of the night. And Richie's mom was yelling, "I'm like, Richie, you're gonna puke. You're disgusting." Yeah, yeah. Jersey girl. Um, where <laughs> so. When Richie left Buffalo, he obviously went through a lot of stuff. Yep. Where Where were you in his life at that point? Um, trying to manage all of it. Yeah. Honestly, and I and and honestly, you know, his dad passed. My During career, the middle like, of it, Richie Richie struggled initially with my career ending more than I did. Really. You know, he's so emotional, and he's so like like if you're close to Richie, like if you're in his inner circle, like he loves you. Like mm. you know, Richie doesn't have a wife and kids, so like when my career ended, like he was hurt, hurt. And then his dad got sick and passed. And, you know, Richie has come out that, you know, he has mental health issues. Like that's, it's, yeah. and it's okay to talk about nowadays, which is great because that it needs to be talked about. And Jay Glazer's doing a bunch of good work in that community right now too. Mm -hmm. But um, anyway, so all that compounded on him and he, you know, put himself in the media again, doing some crazy yeah. stuff and all that. But then the Raiders took a shot on it, took a shot on him and it paid off. And he's been a model citizen out there again. But I believe Mike Mayock, their GM, uh, at the time when they signed him, his wife like works in that space. Oh, really? And was like, like was an advocate for Richie, which mm -hmm. was really cool. Richie was uh was one of the guys that I met my wife when we got engaged in five weeks, married in three months. Good for you. <clears throat> and he was one of those guys during that process where I'm kind of so worried about what other people are going to think, what's going to happen. Where he was like. He kind of sat me down, had the, are you sure about this talk? And once I kind of gave him the reasons why I'm sure, he was like the number one supporter. Like he, he and Talon were great friends. We all went to Vegas together for the McGregor Diaz fight. Like truly an older brother to me. He, yeah. he was, he was, I miss him all the time. Yep. You know, our relationship isn't what it was because of a lot of things during that time, which is, which is tough, especially having two little kids and, you know, all, all that stuff he was dealing with. But I fucking love that guy. Yeah. And I miss him all the time. So